Good morning, folks. Gorgeous plasma filament action on the south incoming. I hope you can recognize the increasing activity of those filaments by the week. We've got four important stories to hit today, but the sun is where we'll start. The coronal holes on the south reach up to surround the incoming active region. The bright spot emits the dark coronal hole. It does have some sunspots in the grouping, but needs more development to flare. We'll have eyes on that one today as we jump only slightly over to a detailed analysis of the solar wind in sunspot maximum versus the minimum. The increase in solar wind energy is 30 to 80 percent in sunspot maximum, another aspect of the sun-earth relationship left out of climate models. All the particle forcing studies we've shown give a nod to this one in helping to explain them. The next study is one that plays in both space weather and in the great catastrophe. The auroral cusp intensity, related to those particle and field forcing parameters in climate science, is driven by the IMF, which is yet another aspect of the solar wind not accounted for. Specifically, the IMF is part of the heliospheric current sheet, and it not only nudges a climate peg in the right direction in this paper, but it also helps us to understand why the galactic version of the mid-plane electric field cyclically instigates solar activity. Something in the range from a super flare to a solar micronova is the triggered event, bringing the crescendo of the 12,000-year disaster cycle to Earth. Heading back in time next, for a look at the 2004 Sumatra tsunami, the deadliest natural disaster on record. Maybe it was a random interest or maybe the increased focus on planetary rotation and tilt, but they described the tilt of the Earth and speed surge to the rotation of the planet during that earthquake event. Now in the same vein, this guy was definitely inspired by the recent increased coverage of these topics. He literally built a Sun-Earth permanent magnet system and was able to achieve the rotation using only the magnetic fields. This ties back to the dozen or so papers we've seen describing how geomagnetic jerks and solar storm influence over Earth's magnetism also affects the rotation of the planet. Good thing our field isn't in the middle of a major excursion or anything. Jokes aside, we greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about the unfolding catastrophe at suspiciousobservers.org, in our YouTube disaster playlist, and in our book The Next End of the World, available at otf.cells.com. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.